Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel. And um, you notice that when I say the name, I always say Windows and Computer. It's not just Windows in general that I uh, could talk about here. Um, I focus mainly on Windows and Windows related news and items. But it is also a computer channel, meaning it I can, you know, we can talk about other things. Um, and I wanted to, I'll do it. I'll talk about a little something that, you know, you've probably seen a lot of comments, people posting, well, you know, I'm on Linux, I'm happy, or Linux is safer, or, and you might be wondering, well, what is Linux and should I be on Linux rather than in Windows? And we're going to try to um, put the simple answer to that question here. And we're going to talk in this video of Linux and what it is and why you might want or might not want to be on Linux. So Linux, put it simply, is a um, operating system like Windows, like Mac OS X. It's a different type of operating system. It is open source. That means that, for example, Windows and Mac OS X are not open source. They are a proprietary software owned by the um, maker of the software itself. In the case of Windows 10, it's Microsoft. Uh, Mac OS X is, of course, Apple. So these systems are closed down. They're not there for everybody to go and tweak and 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 you know do all sorts of things. They're there to be somewhat controlled by the company that actually makes it. Linux is different. It's open source and an open source software means that anybody can contribute to making things better. So an example of open source is um, Chromium that we've seen Microsoft use that basic um, Chromium open source code to create their own browser, which is the new Microsoft Edge. Uh, Google Chrome is based on Chromium, and a lot of operating, uh, of, of web browsers sorry, are based on that. Uh, Opera, for example. The fact that it's open source means that you can take that basic code and you do what you want around it. So you use it and you construct something with it. And Linux is the same thing. It's a basic set of code for an operating system around where you can construct something different. It is meant to run on multiple devices, but there are versions and a lot of them are only PC only. But there are Linux versions now that run on pretty much every type of processor including ARM, but here we're going to mainly focus on your computer, a PC. So a PC running Windows is capable in general of running a Linux distribution. Notice I said distribution is because unlike Windows or Mac OS, Linux comes in pretty much every type of look and flavor and 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 um, you know setting and and features that you like there are tons of different distributions out there meaning somebody took that Linux core built something around it some of the most popular are Linux Mint for example this is an example of Linux Mint uh, some are uh, there's Ubuntu that's very popular also there are some that are if you see here based on trying to make your computer look much more like a Mac computer for example so there are different versions of Linux if you want it's actually the same core it's just that around it they build an environment that is different so you can have the PC look and feel the way you like because there are different ways and even in the same um, distribution you can actually have different looks different surroundings uh, of the interface so that is the basic of what Linux is and 
we're going to stay at that for this one. In the next video, we're going to talk a little bit about the security of Linux, and we're going to talk about who is Linux for. So right now, just understand that it's an operating system, or it's a core around which many, many different companies have built different variations of the operating system that you can use on a computer. So that's the first thing to know on Linux. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.